Welcome, everyone. Uh, we'll get started shortly here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. We'll get started shortly. Welcome everyone, welcome. We'll get started shortly, guys. Hey Tara, welcome, welcome. We'll get started. We'll get started. Hi there. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Welcome, welcome. We'll get started shortly. Thank you. Hey okay. Madison, welcome. Madison, welcome. Hey, Stella. Welcome, Madison. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Stella. Welcome. Guys, we'll get started. Evening. Uh, this is our beginners class. So our beginners class. We'll start shortly. Tonight we'll focus on uh, support and resistance. Support and resistance. Get started, Joe. Hey, Chelsea, welcome, welcome, Chelsea. Guys, we'll get started shortly. This is our beginners class. Our beginners class this evening. And we'll focus on support and resistance this evening. We'll get started shortly. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Hey, Helen. Welcome, Helen. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Guys, uh, this evening, this is our beginner's class. Uh, beginner's class. So we'll get started shortly. Here. 
And this evening, it's all about support and resistance. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. All right. All right. Okay, guys. Um, so this evening, we're going to dis have a discussion about support and resistance. Hey, Juan, welcome, Juan. Um, does anyone out there know what support and resistance is? Does anyone know what support and resistance is? Anyone? And this is the beginner's class, so um, feel free to... Um, be open with uh, any questions that you guys might have, but we want to focus on support and resistance. Does anyone know what support and resistance is and, and why it's important? Anyone? And I want to hear from the new folks. Okay, so... Um, so Chelsea, hey Chelsea, do you know what support and resistance is? I do not know. Um, do not. Okay. Have you heard of it before? Just like in a dictionary, that's about it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, you'll learn about it this evening. All right, all right. How about Helen? Helen, do you know anything about support and resistance when it comes to trading? No. You do not? Okay. All right. How about Tara? Tara, do you know what support and resistance is? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Okay. This is good as a matter of fact, right? So you guys are going to get some good information here this evening. How about... Um, uh, Stella, I know you know it. Madison, I know you know it. Um, let's see here. How about one? One, you know about support and resistance? Hey, one, you there, one? All right. Okay, guys. Um, well, support and resistance. Who here has um, uh, never traded before? Has never traded before? I have not, you but haven't? I know people that does it. Okay, so Chelsea, you haven't. So uh, everyone else has have traded before? All right. Okay, I'm gonna share my chart here. All right, so you guys should see, see my screen here, my shared screen. Yeah. All right, so do you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, so it should say support and resistance. All right. Okay, one second here. All right. All right. 
Okay, so support and resistance, the keys to your success. Okay, support and resistance, the keys to your success. Okay, so who here wants to trade? Who here wants to trade? Who here wants to trade? Me, Chelsea. Me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, good, good. So Chelsea, Helen, I'm going to assume everyone here on this call wants to trade. All I right. might if I can make money. <laughs> if you can make money. <laughs> yes. That's, that's the goal, right? To make money, yeah. right? Absolutely. Have you guys thought about uh, when you think about trading, right? When you think about trading, what's the first thing that comes to mind uh, apart from money? Apart stocks. From money. Stocks, okay, stocks. So we can, we can trade stocks, right? Okay. And uh, what else? What else comes to mind Forex. when you think about trading? Forex. Okay, good. All right. So Forex. Forex is popular. Okay. And uh, what else? What else comes to mind when we think about trading? Tesla. What's that? Tesla. Ex expensive? Tesla, like Tesla. Oh, Tesla. Tesla. <laughs> yeah. All right. Tesla is a uh, expensive stock. Tesla. All right. Tesla is popular too. All right. Anything else? What else do we think about? What's the was the first thing we that comes to mind when we we think about trading? Keep going. Anything else? When we think about trading, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Someone said in the comments, futures. Futures. And Monet. Okay. Juan, Juan is um, okay. so messaging futures. instead of speaking. <laughs> so Juan. <laughs> futures, all the markets, right? Money, right? Making yeah. money. All right. Okay, very good. Very good. I, I'm looking for one thing that, that, that everyone gets wrong. What's the most important thing when we, when we look into to trade? When we look into trade, what's the most important? Leave your emotions behind. Leave your emotions behind. That's good. Thanks, Madison. Leave your emotions behind. Identify support and resistance lines. Identify, so identify support and resistance. Okay. What else? What else? Finances. Finances. Okay. And I want you guys, I want you guys to listen to, I want you guys to listen to the answers now. All right. Minimal okay. risk. Was that? Minimizing risk. Minimizing risk. Crypto. Okay. Crypto. Okay. All right. Anything else? You guys have run out of our answers. <laughs> Bonds. 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 Yes. All right. What else? When you guys think of trading, what's the most important thing? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Stocks. Okay. That was buy low, good. sell high. Buy low. <laughs> buy low. Sell, I like that. Sell high. You can do that with houses as well. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm going to give you guys the answer. When you, when you think about trading, right? When you think about trading, the first thing that should always come to mind is where do I buy? Okay, so where do I enter and where do I exit? Okay, so when we trade, when we, when we get into these markets, so whether it's stocks, Forex, right, cryptos, bonds tesla right 
the most important thing is where do we buy and where do we sell? And as new traders, it's, in, it's critical that you guys know that. Okay, so everything, you've, everything you guys mentioned, that's all great. That's all great. But if we don't know when to buy and when to sell, it's not going to work out. Okay. Okay, so the most important thing when we look to trade, we need to know, we need to have a set of rules to tell us when are we going to buy, when are we going to enter the market, buy, buy Tesla, okay, buy Tesla, and then when we're going to sell Tesla. All right, why do you guys think that's important? Why, why, why do you guys think that I think that's the most important thing? Because you don't want to lose your money. That's the whole point. Okay, so you don't want to lose your money. What, what else? What are the reasons? So we don't want to lose our money, absolutely. And what else? When you fan, when you fail to plan, you when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Okay. So having a good plan in place is key to any type of success, usually. Okay, so we need to have a plan in place. Okay. What else? What else? Why? Why is why is knowing where we're going to buy and where we're going to sell critical? Because it could be for the future. It could possibly. What's that, um, Chelsea? I can't hear you. What's has that? Has something to do with the future, maybe? With the future? Yeah. Okay. All right. Future. Why else? Why? Because otherwise we're gambling. Okay. Otherwise we're gambling. Right. I mean, otherwise, I mean, if you're not calculating it and, and, and looking at it from a mathematical point, and when I mean mathematical, I mean probability is a mathematical thing. You know, we teach that in math. Then, then it's a gamble. It's just a game of luck if you're okay. not doing it that way. Okay. Right? Okay. So, okay. Gambling probability. Okay. What are the reasons? Why, why do we need to know when to buy and when to sell? So let's take a look at Tesla, right? So let's say Tesla. How do we know that Tesla is a good, is a good, Today is a good day to either buy or, and, or sell Tesla. How would we know that? Because that's what we do, right? Most, most individuals, they just, they just jump into the market and say, we're going to buy today, right? Are we going to sell today? So how, how do we know exactly? As traders, right, and you guys are new, you're coming into this market, right, coming into you, or you want to trade and get into these markets, right? So if you're going to put on a trade on Tesla, how do you know that today is the right day, next week is the right week, next month, or perhaps last month wasn't the, the, was the right month to buy? How do we know or sell? How do we know that? How do we know that? Think about it. I mean, really, really think about it, right? You guys want to be traders, right? So how do we know? How do you guys know if today was the right day or the wrong day to buy Tesla? How do we know that? We're looking at the numbers. Okay, so one says when it breaks the support or resistance. Very good. Very good one. Very good. So when the price breaks resistance, okay, we're going to buy. So write this down. Okay, so write this down, guys. When the price breaks resistance, 
we are going to buy. And then when the price breaks support, we are going to sell. Great job, one. All right. So when the price breaks resistance, we are going to buy. And then when the price breaks support, we are going to sell. Does anyone know why that is? Why that is? Why do we want to buy? Can you buy? repeat that one more time, please? Okay, we are going to buy. One said we're going to buy when the price breaks resistance. So buy when the price breaks resistance. So if, if Tesla breaks resistance, we are going to buy. And if Tesla breaks support, we are going to sell. And why is that? Why is that? Um, why, why is that that we need to buy when the price breaks resistance and sell when the price breaks support? Because um, when the when the price first breaks resistance, that's when we're sure that the price is increasing and we want to really get it when when it's still at a low price. So at the beginning of the high, um, so you buy then and and then you sell when it's at its highest, but at the beginning of when it first breaks support, which is when it's at the beginning of the markdown phase. And we're sure that it's gonna keep going down. Okay. Let's and we're only sure of that because it's broken the support line. Okay. So let's do that again but let's make it very simple. So it has to be simple, guys. If it's complicated, we, we won't do it, right? So Madison, repeat that, but, okay. but simplify it. Simplify okay, it. Okay, I'll simplify it, okay. okay. So um, how do we know um, price has broken resistance? We know price has broken no, resistance. Wait, no, 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 okay. So when do we buy and then when we, do we sell? So we buy- okay, we buy at the first break of resistance. Okay, P stop there, stop there, perfect. Okay. okay, and when the price broke resistance or breaks resistance, mm -hmm. what's happening? The price has actually entered the mark up phase. Okay, but what, what's half, forget about the markup phase, right? So we, we're just gonna stick with support and resistance. So Right, so the price is actually going up. It's, it's gonna continue going up, okay. higher and higher. Okay, why is it going up? Because so, the buyers are in control? Yeah, the, very good. The buyers are buying. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. Okay, think of it like this, right? Think of it like this. If you guys uh, are going shopping, right? You go to the mall, right? You go to the mall and you're looking for a great, a great outfit, right? A great outfit. You're gonna go out for the, for the weekend, right? And you, you go to the mall, right? And you, you're passing by the mall, right? You're passing by the stores, right? You're passing by all these stores. And you notice that the stores that you're passing by, you know, you see some stores that are, you know, there isn't, it's like empty, right? No one's there, right? So you pass these stores, no one's there, but then you come across a store that it's, that it's packed, right? It's full of people, you got a good vibe, people are happy, but then you pass around these, these other stores, it's completely empty. Which stores are you, which store are you going to go to? The full one to see what, what's so hot about it. Absolutely, right? So it's the same thing here, right? So nothing is happening. Can you guys still see my support and resistance chart? You guys yes. can still see it? Okay, yeah. okay. So understand, right? So understand that when, when, when the price, okay, so those of you that are new, support and resistance are made at levels, okay? So this resistance level, Okay, let's pretend that Tesla is at $700 right here at this resistance level. Okay, and I don't know what Tesla is right now, but I'm just assuming, 
we're just pretending here that Tesla is at $700 right here at this resistance line, okay? And all these traders, all these buyers, right? This is like just the store, right? All these buyers are rightly had Tesla and they're waiting. They're waiting, right? And then support is right down here. So support, let's say this is 700, right? Support might be $300. And you have buyers are waiting right here. So people are waiting right here. And they're waiting, they're waiting to either get in or out. So think of this here, resistance is like your ceiling. Support is like your floor. Not, there's nothing to do between here, okay? So there's nothing to do between here. This is like your empty store right here, all right? Your empty store. As soon as the price breaks that resistance, right? Breaks that resistance, guess what? Buyers are gonna start rushing in, okay? That's why one said we wanna be buying on a break of resistance. So when the price breaks resistance, we're gonna get in, all these buyers are going to jump in, start buying, buying, buying. So we want to be buying when the price breaks resistance. The price breaks resistance because the buyers have started to buy. Okay, if the price doesn't break resistance, holds below that $700 mark, guess what? There is nothing to do. Okay, there is nothing to do. Does that make sense? Yes. That makes sense? Okay. All right. Why is this important? Why is support and resistance important? Anyone? Why is support and resistance important? Because it is. It's, 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 it's going to be support and resistance by far as traders. This is our most important tool. This is our most important tool. This is, this is where everything starts and ends with support and resistance. Everything will start and end with support and resistance. If we didn't have support and resistance, right? What would happen? If we didn't have support and resistance, what would happen as a trader? If we didn't have support and resistance, So if we didn't, if we, if, we, if we couldn't identify support and resistance and support and resistance is made when the price touches that area, let's say that $700 mark, all right? Several times, same thing for support. So what would happen if we couldn't identify support and resistance? I want you guys to think about that, right? What would happen if we could not identify support and resistance on a price You chart? trade like I do, and you hardly make any money. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what happens. <laughs> and, and how is that? How, how, how would we trade, Tara? Poorly. Poorly. <laughs> you hear about other people making money and you realize that you're not doing that. <laughs> Whatever they're doing, you're not doing you're that. You're not doing that. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So understand this. Understand this. Support and resistance is critical because we can frame the price. We can, we can think of it like we are capturing the price and we are locking in the price. Right? If we can't, it's like a, we are caging price, right? We are taking the price action right here. We call this price action. And we are, we are putting it in a box. So we are locking the price, right? We are confining the price. Okay. I want you guys to really think about that, right? So we take, we're looking at our chart and we are, we are saying, okay, right here in real time, right? We are going to identify, right, where we can buy or sell. All right. Let's say you go into that store, 
right? So you go into that store, right, Madison? You, you go into that store and mm -hmm. you, 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 you didn't enter the one, the store that uh, was empty. You went into the store that was busy or good vibe, right? Right, uh, you know, everyone seemed to be happy, right? And you go in, yeah. you go in, right? And you, you, you pull something off the rack, all right. How do you know if that's a good price or not? How do you know? So the one item you pull off the rack, right? The one item you pull off the rack, the price is seven hundred dollars, right? Well, hopefully I'm a good shopper and I've been around the block and I know my brands and I know the seasons and you know I've I've done a little bit of homework. So, you know what I mean? So like you've I'm, done, I'm so in you've, the market. I, I have a good sense for these things. I know what a knockoff looks like. I know what a an authentic purse looks like. You know what I mean? Okay. I know what a, a good deal looks like or sounds like. I know when I'm being ripped off. <laughs> okay. So you have a framework, right? You have you have a gauge, right? Of your past, right. of your knowledge, your background, your experience, right? right? Right, right. And what time of year it is, all sorts of things like that. Okay, so that's the same thing we're doing with price. Okay. okay. So what we what you what you just said there is the same thing we are going to do with price. So we're going to box the price right between support and resistance so we know okay here it is all we are going to do is we working with this area right here you guys see my cursor this area right here not up here i don't see your cursor all i see is the support and resistance slide okay hold on How about now? I see your cursor on the support and resistance slide. Okay. All right. Okay. So you know the prices and everyone follow. Okay. You know the prices, right? You know the price, it, what the, the price should be. So you're not going to spend any more because you know, you know, you know what the price should be of that item, right? So you know you're not gonna spend any more, right? If it's a if it's a really good price for that item, you'll know that, right? So if it's a really good discount, right, you'll know that because you've 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 shopped before, right? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So all we do with support and resistance is we're blocking up that price. We we take in the price action, we take in the chart, right? And we're saying, okay. Right here, this is the current price right here, right? It's at the bottom. So we know it's a, on this time frame right here, it's at the bottom here. So it's at a discount, okay? It might be low here and then it, this could be a high, okay? But guess what? It could go on sale, right? It can go on sale, right? Next month, all right? Or Black Friday, you know, Black Friday is coming up, right? So you know, hey, they're gonna slash prices and the price might come all the way down here. So you might wait, all right? You might wait. Same thing here, same thing here. All we're doing is we're taking the price and we are blocking it off. We're gonna say, hey, this is the high. This is, I'm not gonna spend any more, right? This is the high and then this is the low. Guess what, if it goes on sale, Guess what? If it goes on sale, I'll get a different, a, a better price. I'll let the, I'll let the, the, I'll wait on the sale and I'll get a better price. Okay. So I want you guys to just kind of think about it. You know, you can, I can use several different analogies, but just know that um, resistance, resistance is where we want to be buying on a break of resistance that increases the demand because the buyers are really starting to buy, they're starting to jump in. And then we wanna get out when the price breaks support. 
Okay, so we want to buy at resistance, break on of support. Okay, why do we want to why 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 do we want to sell when the price breaks support? Why do you guys think we want to we should sell when the price breaks support? We want to cut our losses then. We want to cut our losses. Very good, Madison. And why else? Why else do we want to sell on a break of support? Who's in control? The sellers. The sellers are in control, right? So we want to sell because the sellers are in control because the price could go lower. I'm going to share um, my trading screen. If I can find, hold on one second. Whenever you're ready, um, you know how you told me to open a demo account mm -hmm. and try to trade? Mm -hmm. I have questions from that experience. Okay, we'll uh, towards the end we'll we'll um, we'll we'll go over that. Okay. Um, hold on one second, hey guys. So I'm going to share my trading screen here. So we look at we're going to look at live charts in the market, and we'll look at support and resistance. When you say live charts, like are they actually moving? Like, is price changing real time? Um. Yeah, that could mean price is changing real time or that it's still a, a chart. It doesn't mean that price is changing right now. Okay. 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 All right, one second here, guys. Okay, so Tara, you, you have traded, right, Tara? Sorry, I'm in transit um, right now, but I've, I've, don't I wouldn't call it trading I've bought them and then just kind of left it alone okay so, what did you what did you trade what market okay so what did I I don't I don't even remember it wasn't very um, significant mostly my 401k just kind of does what it does <laughs> mm. okay and yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I remember buying like this home. I think I bought like Walgreens and like this home builder once. Oh, okay. Yeah. That okay. did not go well. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to, thanks. Thanks, Tara. Um, sure. So I'm going to give you guys an, a good example here. Why? why this is important here all right okay so i'm going to draw this out here and i want you guys to follow me for a second okay so here is support and resistance right here. So we have resistance right here. The top line is resistance. That's your ceiling. The bottom line here is support. Okay. The green, the green candles here, that's buyers are in control, right? So the price broke resistance. The buyers are in control. Think of the red candles or the sellers are in control. Okay. So the green candles, buyers are in con control, right? Red candles, the sellers are in control. So here is, right here is support and resistance, right between support and resistance here. 
okay? Here is where the price broke resistance. And now who is in control when the price breaks resistance? The buyers. The buyers are in control. So we should, we should be doing what? We should be buying. We should be buying. Very good. Okay, so we should be buying. Excuse oh. me. Mm -hmm. How do you determine when it broke resistance? Right here. Right here. I'll open it up for you. Okay, so Terry, you see that you see that candle right here, that green candle right here? Yes. That's when it broke resistance. It broke the top. Okay. So, yes, and so then how do you figure that amount, that number? Okay, so you see these you see these lines right here? You see that line right here? Yes. And you see that line right here? Yes. That's our resistance line. Okay. Right. So that calculation is based on what? So the, the resistance is made when the, the price hits a high, okay, at the mm -hmm. same level. So the price hit a high here, okay, a high mm -hmm. here and stopped, a high here and stopped. So when it hits that high or close and stops, that's, that's, that's the resistance. And that price on, on, this, on this, for instance, is 2.10. Okay, that's the resistance right here. Just, just look here for a second, look here. See here with price hit that line right here and then hit the same area right here, that's resistance mm -hmm. right here. Okay, you see right here? That's resistance mm -hmm. right here. That's resistance right here. This is support right here. See that here, you see where? This is support right here. So where price, comes to an area to a price and stops that's your support same thing for your resistance okay you see resistance okay. right here you need you need at least um and that's a good question Tara. you need at least two two touches minimum of two all right to to to, okay. to have a support and resistance line so this is where resistance is support is right here you see this line right here all the way across, that's our support mm -hmm. line right mm -hmm. here, okay? So the price okay. broke resistance. We have a green candle, right? And we would, we would buy, right? Because the price broke resistance and the price broke resistance because what? The buyers are in control, right? The buyers are in mm -hmm. control, okay? So we would buy. Okay. We don't randomly buy. We buy when the buyers are in control, when the price breaks resistance, okay? The whole time it's doing this, it's between support and resistance. We don't do anything. We just wait. We just wait. We just wait, right? We just right. We just like that the, the stores, right? We're walking in the mall. So those stores that are empty, we wait. We don't go in, right? We only go to that store that's full, right? People are shopping, right? People are buying, right? They're making purchases. That's when we go in and we start to buy. Same thing here. Okay. Same, same thing here. So we bought here the price. Look here. Green candles, the buyers are buying. They're buying. They're happy, right? They're happy. They're making money. They're buying. Okay. Then here, here is support. And here is resistance right up here. Support and resistance is always moving, guys. It's the, the markets are dynamic, right? They're flowing. They're always flowing. So what happened here with the price? So the price went up and it broke which line here? Which level here did it break? The, the support. That, the support, right? So we, we have to get out. We have to get out when the price breaks support because, because what? The sellers are in control, right? So when, when there's no more buying, guys, and the sellers are in control, we have to get out, right? So we would have bought here and sold here, right? If we don't know about support and resistance, we don't know where to buy and we don't know where to sell. Because look what happened when the price broke support right here, okay? The sellers are in control. And then look what happened to the price after the sellers took control of the price. It came all the way down. 
So if, if we hadn't gotten out right here, when the price broke support, guess what, guys? So Tara, you mentioned your losses, right? You would have had a loss like this because we didn't get out. Yeah, that looks familiar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. It looks very familiar to us. You know, we, we see this all the time, right? So when the sellers just remember, just remember, keep it real, 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 real simple. When the price breaks resistance, we want to be buying because the buyers are in control. When the price breaks support like here, we want to be selling. We want to get out because the sellers are in control. And we don't know how, 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 how far they're going to take the price down. So we just want to, we want to get in when the buyers are in control. Green candles, green candles, buyers, buyers, buyers. When the buyers stop selling, right? Sellers, when the buyers have stopped buying, the sellers come in and guess what? We've got to be out. Okay. So just remember that. Make a big note for yourselves. Okay. Support and resistance. Um, take a picture, guys, if you don't, if you don't have this. Right, I want you guys to take a picture of this, uh, especially if you're new to us. Uh, one second, let me bring it up. So um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so say for example, I'm sitting here in front of this particular chart and I'm studying it. I'm looking for an entry point. I'm, I'm trying to see where my support and my resistances are so that I can identify where the break in resistance is so that I can buy and enter a trade, okay? Um, and say that this is a live um, chart and it's moving, okay? And price is, is moving, it's, it's changing, all right? Um, should I be looking at a, at the edge of the chart or should or or can I be looking I know you said you favor the 240 minute chart like this one um and say I'm looking exactly on this time frame um what confuses me when I try to trade is that I I assume I'm supposed to be looking at the very edge so like real time i guess okay um and try to predict like what's going to happen next like where the next candle is going to be but and of course that's very hard like like i can't figure that out but it makes more sense and i can identify support and resistance a lot easier if i'm looking um you know like a half hour before or you know what i mean do you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. So, so when, when we look at support and resistance, um, we look at the whole, we look at the whole chart. Okay. Okay. So, but so can you enter a trade like back here and not at the very edge of the chart? Okay. So, all right. So when we've taken a look at support and resistance, so let's say we were looking to, um, enter into this trade right here, all right? And I'll just use this as an, as an example, all right? Mm -hmm. This trade is not ready yet to go, to go long or up, okay? Okay. But we're just going to pretend that it is, right? It's setting up. So our support and resistance would be right, right here would be resistance, okay? And then our support... Um, I would say right, right here. Okay, we always want to get support as many touches as possible. So we want to find the cluster. If you and guys, how do you know that? Do you know that because you went back, like say a day before or something? Like, no, how do you know no. this? I'm just looking right here, right here. I'm looking oh, at the that. price. Okay. Yeah. I'm just looking at okay. the price right here. And I, I see. You, yeah. So we know price touched here touched mm -hmm. here touched here right so that's a mm -hmm. if you look here that's a flattening of price right here okay 
okay you can do here that's not if you do in the middle here guess what that's we, we want where that price is coming right at the top and then same here for the bottom here see here this touch with this touch is right here that's the bottom right here so this is your support and resistance right here mm -hmm. all right and then okay. you just wait for the price to break that resistance that will tell you that the buyers are now in control okay okay so we're always looking at the very edge of the chart when we're trading we're not looking even a little bit in like behind basically well yes you can you can but but for for just as an example simple example yes you want to look at where where your current price is and then you can go back okay okay as an example here right we have support and resistance here Okay, so this is where price touched here, price touched here, price touched here, mm -hmm. right? That's your resistance, that's your support. But this mm -hmm. resistance and support has nothing to do with the price action right now down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, and if I were to like base my trade on those, I would be wrong. Yes, so you got to, yeah, you have to base your trade on your current, if you're looking for an entry, the current price right but as you get better at this we can use some um past price action to also help right with that support okay but i don't worry about that now right so we can get further support and resistance kind of like here right so if the price let's say the price was right we were right here in the price right we could use mm -hmm. this pass price action here to give us a more defined support and resistance okay okay but it's more like for a beginner like me the best thing to do is to look for the closest and more recent um support and resistance line and um calculate my entry and exit based on that Yes, yes, to stop. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. to stop. Yeah. All right. So, and that's like the the closest to current time, basically, and mm -hmm. and find that price right there. Yeah, yeah. As you okay. as you as you get more savvy, um, in your in identify find support and resistance, you can go farther back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, as an example. <clears throat> Okay, so here on Bitcoin, we've got we've got pretty good support and resistance here, right? See that current price action, but we can also go back and we can tell that support was right here also, okay? And then we've got support down here also. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we'll be you'll be looking at this current price to get a breakout. Okay, let's say you want to you'll want to go long or you want to buy, right? You'd be watching mm -hmm. this price here, right, on a breakout to go long. But if it goes, if it breaks to the downside, right, and breaks this support here, you know you've got another support level down here. Right. Okay? And then you know you've got another resistance level kind of like up in here is another resistance level so as a trader we we always know um where we are we, we need to always know where we are in the trade so if we're watching this right here i know okay if the price breaks support right here a lot of sellers are going to come in and push the price down to this target right here, which is the next support at around 30,000. And if the sellers, if the, if the sellers, if the buyers can't hold this support area here, right? And the price breaks support, right? The price could go a lot lower, 
down here. That's why these support and resistance levels are very, very important. Okay, or vice versa, right? So let's say, let's say the price breaks this resistance here. I know that the buyers are in control, right? And now the buyers could look to take the price up to this area right here, which was our previous um, resistance. So we are always, we, what we're doing guys is we're blocking up price, right? Just like when you went in, into that store, Madison, and you knew you didn't just, just buy that item, right? You knew, right. you knew from history, right? You knew from history what, what's a good deal. Same thing here. We know from the past history here, right? What's, what's been going on with, with Bitcoin and the best area to buy and the best area to sell. And then most importantly, like now, the best time to just stay out and wait, right? We're not going into that empty store, right? We're right, because going... it's consolidating. Exactly. Right. Okay. So, so when we first start, start with your near-term price. Here is the price right now in real time. That's changing right now, right? Start with that. And then as you get more experience, guys, kind of work your way back and then try to find the biggest support and resistance. So that's what really good traders will do, right? So they'll look at areas. Think of support and resistance as a wall, all right? A wall, right? That, that's blocking your price, blocking you, okay, from going anywhere, right? It's, gonna, it's blocking you from doing any trading. And the only time you're going to trade, if you want, if you're going to trade up is when the price finally breaks resistance. You see here, it, it didn't break, right? All this right here, look here, it didn't break. It didn't break. It didn't break. It didn't break. So a lot of times we think that trading is gambling. All right. It's a, it's chance, but no, there's a, there is, there is, there is a, a, a method to this, right? See here. This isn't just random here. This is, this is, these are traders that are sitting right here that are holding this price right here and they're not giving up. They're not giving up. Same here for support. All right. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to end here. Um, any other questions for me? I hope you guys uh, found this uh, uh, really good. Support and resistance. Okay, is, is the key. Okay, support and resistance is the key. So I'm going to share, before I leave, I'm going to share this screen again. I want you guys to, if you don't have it for the, new, for the new folks here, and we do this training every evening. All right, so every evening, same time. Um, so take a copy. Does that I, mean I can come every evening now, David? No, I want you to come on this class here, Madison. Okay. Yeah, I want you to come to the beginner's class because yeah, you, you really need to get this stuff. Yeah, you're getting it. You're getting better. All right. Okay. Do you yeah. offer in class? What's that, Chelsea? Do you offer, like, can we come to you, like, in person? Um, yeah, we have an office here in Orlando. All right. Okay. Where are you? Are you in Orlando? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah. So we'll we um we'll we'll do um we we'll do classes in the office in Orlando, and then we also do one on one uh, coaching too. We do one on one coaching. Uh, we'll okay. do that in the office and on Zoom. But guys, take a picture of this support and resistance. So take a picture of this with your phone, and I always tell uh, our traders to um print it out and laminate it this is this is where all everything starts for you guys right everything starts with support and resistance okay so madison um mm -hmm. a good practice you had mentioned a demo or you opened a demo account start mm -hmm. looking start looking at charts and start finding the the support and resistance okay you okay. you, you want to do a lot of work on this this is going to yeah. be yeah, this is going to be you guys, your foundation. Okay. So I have a lot of, I, I, I plan on, if God be willing, I mean, I, I'm not making, I don't like to make promises I can't keep. So that's why I try not to like talk too much about like the future and what I want to do. But 
Um, I'm, I'm hoping my, like my studying will get a lot easier when I get that computer. I know you recommended the, um, the, um, how oh, I forget the name it's on your website. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'm, I'm fixing to get that one and that'll make my life a lot easier studying and practicing. So I want to get a lot of, you know, um, what you're recommending done on my own before I sign up for your one-on-one -on -one training. Okay. And then that way you, I can get your help, like filling in the blanks and, and, and really fine tuning my, my craft. Yeah. It's a process. It's a process. So yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's definitely a process, but this is key. The, 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 what I wanted to get across to you guys this evening is that Support and resistance is important. This is where all of your buying and your selling will come from. So when we start trading, right, we need to know, we need to know when to pull the trigger, right, to buy. And then we need to know when to pull the trigger to get out. And that needs to be consistent. Okay, so we don't just randomly buy, we don't just randomly sell. We buy when the, when, the, when the price breaks resistance because the buyers are buying, right? That store is nice and full with a lot of merchandise. A lot of people are in there. Good vibe, good prices. People are buying. And um, guess what? Right now, right here, right in this area right here, guess what? That store is empty. No one is buying. So guess what? We don't go in. All right, guys. Okay. You guys have a great evening. Come back again. We have another e class uh, tomorrow. All right. You guys take care. Have a great evening. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Take care. Thank you, Bye -bye. David. You guys are welcome. Thank take you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.